Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Apps Portal's Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduke, and this is tip number 77, Dealing with the White Screen of Death. If you do enough work with Power Apps Portals, you'll eventually run into the White Screen of Death. The White Screen of Death displays a generic error with an ID that isn't really helpful unless you're Microsoft. Other than submit a support ticket, what can you do to resolve this issue? Often, the underlying error message is descriptive enough to tell you how to fix it. There are a couple of ways that you can get to the underlying error message. If you're working on a portal in a development environment, you can go into the Power Apps Portal Admin Center, go to Portal Actions, and click the Disable Custom Errors button. Then, instead of the white screen of death, you'll get the yellow screen of death. While this sounds just as scary, the good thing about the yellow screen of death is that it provides details of the error that occurred. As you can see in this example, the form configured for this entity form doesn't exist, so perhaps it was deleted. It is generally best practice not to enable detailed errors like that in production. So instead of disabling custom errors, you can instead enable diagnostic logging. This will save the error log to the Azure blob service that you define. One other thing that may help is the site forward slash enable custom plugin error site setting. When set to true, if a plugin that exists on your common data service throws an exception, the message will be displayed on the portal, as opposed to a generic error. This applies to entity lists, entity forms, and web forms. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Apps Portal's tip number 77 on dealing with the white screen of death, useful.